Welcome back to the channel everyone, it's Mr. You Know Who. In today's video guys, bringing you a quick tutorial on how to set up the Multi Trainer version 2 by Shimagami. If you haven't used this trainer, it's by far better than the Tyler Mods trainer. I'm going to show you guys that I'm doing this on 9.00 and everything is working perfectly fine. It's fairly simple, fairly easy. If you follow these steps, you should have the trainer working no problem. So as you guys can see in the background, I'm disconnected from the internet. My automatic downloads, everything is unchecked and I'm on 9.00 like I said before. So first things first, what you want to do is do your jailbreak and I'm going to do mine offline. So as you guys can see, I'm going to load up the page for Kairos real and start the process of doing my jailbreak. And then from there, all I got to do is turn back on the internet load up the ps4 debug payload and then turn on my bin loader so that's pretty much it for setting it up on the ps4 first as you guys can see i'm running golden head version 2b2 and then this should start up on the first try as you guys can see it worked i'm just gonna put in the usb stick real quick and then i'm going to hit ok and get the notification and i should be good so notification popped up now i'm gonna hit ok to get the golden hen to load as you guys can see here golden hen version 2b2 is loaded everything is good now at this point you could just pull out your usb stick and then turn on your internet so that's what i'm going to do right now as you guys can see in the background I'm turning on my internet and then i'm going to go back onto Cairo's page and load the ps4 debug payload that is by far the most important thing to do because a lot of people People right at this point get confused on which payload they need to load so do not use the WBRTE payload that is only for the Tyler Mods trainer if you're using the multi trainer version 2 by Shimagami you must use the PS4 debug payload as you guys can see in the background I'm going to load this real quick and then I should get a notification in the top left corner that this payload has loaded and everything is good everything is great I'm loading it now so at this point just wait sometimes I have to do this two or three times to get this payload to work it worked on the first try as you guys can see you should get that notification in the top left corner if you get that you're pretty much good here now at this point you want to go back into settings go back to golden hen and you're going to use enable bin loader server or which is on port 909 and then at this point you could start up the game i would recommend at this point whatever game you want to use from the trainer i'm going to use metal gear solid 5 just to show you i'm going to start it up and then i'm going to leave it in the background and go over to my actual computer to show you guys that the trainer is working and set it up and then that's pretty much it you guys should be good to go so let me go over to my actual computer right now while metal gear solid is loading up and i will catch you back on my computer all right everyone i am now on my pc as you guys can see in the background i do have the multi-trainer version 2 open and I also have Metal Gear Solid 5 running in the background. I can show you this real quick. As you guys can see, the game is on. So at this point, all we need to do is go to settings here. You want to put in your PS4 IP address. This is mine. And you want to change this port to 9090 to match the bin loader. And then at this point, you want to look at the game. You want to apply the cheats to or the mods to. Like I said, I'm using Metal Gear Solid solid 5 this is the version i'm using which is the cusa 05597 with the patch of 1.00 one thing i want to point out real quick once you fill this out and this out you do not have to click on the inject payload if you happen to fill out everything and then you click on this it's gonna send the payload once again which is the ps4 debug back to the playstation 4 and the playstation 4 is going to kernel panic and shut off so do not press this button you don't have to use it at all all you need to do is come over here click on the game and as you guys can see here you want to click this on as you guys can see mine's turn green and i know i am connected to the playstation 4 you will not get a notification
conversation saying that you're connected you know that you are connected if for whatever reason you click this and nothing happens it's gonna give you an error message on the screen saying that something is not working or it will not connect now at this point once you get the green and you're good you could just click on all your mods here so i'm gonna click these on real quick and show you the screen of metal gear solid 5 that is loading and it should look like this as you guys can see all my cheats are loading very similar to tyler mod without the icon on the multi trainer version 2 it just have x's and o's in the squares of the sony playstation and now what we want to do is go into the game to see if it's working i'll do it real quick just to show you guys that the cheats are working perfectly fine and i don't have any issues and that's pretty much it as far as setting up the multi-trainer version 2 for your ps4 on 9.00 so as you guys can see shoot this my ammo should not go down at all it should just keep loading everything's working perfectly fine i got hit i should have infinite life i shouldn't die my screen shouldn't turn red or anything everything is working perfectly fine let me see something real quick my money is mad everything is all good that's pretty much it as far as setting up the multi-trainer version 2 this should help you guys out and clear up on how to do it if this video was helpful please share the video but as always i thank you guys for watching my video supporting my channel and i will get up with you guys later peace